This is the impeller that's attached to the motor that actually spins and pulls the water through. And here's another look at the impeller actually attached to a motor. So it just threads in there. So the impeller sits right here in the pump housing. Sometimes debris will get stuck um, in here and it'll jam the impeller against the side and it won't spin. Here's a look from the back. So the impeller sits in here and debris will get stuck and it'll keep the impeller from spinning actually. And that's why when you get the screwdriver you can actually get the debris out and the impeller will spin freely. And sometimes the impellers will be cracked. That's kind of a rare occurrence. Mainly it's just debris stuck in there. So the first thing I check when the pump is not priming is the impeller. That's the first thing I look for to make sure that nothing's clogged in there and then it's spinning freely. If this pump is not priming, I think the impeller is clogged. You okay, so want to make sure that it's not going to come back on while you're doing the impeller clearing. So we just take the lid off. This pump has a problem where the impeller gets clogged quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show you how to unplug it. Okay, the impeller is just on front of the motor and it spins actually. So when stuff gets stuck in there, I just get a regular screwdriver that will actually fit into the pump. The impeller, you want to actually kind of turn it between any kind of debris that's in there. You should be able to turn and get in there and pull out whatever's in there, clogging it, and then get started again. That's a very common problem with your pump. You'll get the impeller clogged by debris. Um, everything seems to be working now in this particular pool.